Well, what's going on? I am back at another mountain river uh, stream. Gonna do some fishing. Also, it's a big famous trout stream, but we're really gonna target uh, smallmouth, or you know, just try to catch some bass. Not really going for trout. And we're gonna fish the lower part of it. I got my friend over here, Julio, the everyday angler. Hey. We're just gonna do some fishing, have some fun, do some exploring. I love exploring, and this is definitely an area that I don't know anything about. I haven't fished any of it. So it'll be uh, fun to see what we find. All right, this water is going to be chilly. Oh yeah, but it's super clear, nice mountain stream. I don't even know, I, I, there's supposed to be smallmouth in here and I've talked to people that have caught them. So I wouldn't try to catch them. I've actually caught a couple smallmouth from this upstream. So I know that they are in here um but we're gonna do some trial and error and that's the kind of fishing i like to do there's a fish oh it's a good fish Ooh, that's a good fish yeah. Oh, good thing I brought my net with me. Cause this dude's a fighter. Not a giant, but a good one. Sweet. Dude, check us out. Got my ego net. It's like a, it's a good wading net that I just got. And uh, I was wondering if the net was gonna be too deep, but I like it. It's in the back of that deep pool. It's pretty deep back there. Oh, lure came out. Good one, dude. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I fished yesterday all day. Couldn't catch anything close to this. First fish today. Good. I don't know. Good thing I brought that net. Yeah. Cause the hook came out. Beautiful. Dude. First fish of the day. It's probably a pound and oh, a quarter. You, you proved they're in here now. I gotta catch one. Dude. Pressure's on now. Awesome. Well, we've been out here. 11 minutes so uh that didn't take too long but yeah just It'll moving around me a little longer so, <laughs> now we're gonna get Julio on, on one hopefully hopefully I, we get a few more but that was nice that was right where it was we was hoping first place we stopped we got right on one you take a picture and yeah. that way you can, yeah, you can send that to me all right we'll put that back guy back in oh i'm really happy with that good fast bass right there Dude, I love that. Just on the side of the road right here, there's gonna be people all day going up. Uh, this is Saturday morning. They're gonna be going up, going for trout. They get stocked upstream. We're right here. That's a nice bass. I don't know if we're gonna catch a bunch of them or not, but it's so cool to uh, be able to do that and to catch that fish right there. So uh, we gotta get Julio on a fish, hopefully it's two, but um, we're gonna get right back to it. <laughs> this little bit even grabbed it and tried to take off with it. He just snatched it and started swimming with it. Come hit the spot right here. Oh. Dude, where'd that guy come from? Oh, that's a largemouth. He came all the way up and I just paused it and he, he, he just swallowed it. They're looking at it. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Nice. A little baby. A little smallmouth. That's Still cool. My first smallmouth on the fly, though. All right. You got one. Pressure's off now. Exactly. Now I can relax. <laughs> that, was, that was cool. I'm going to leave me skunked out here. That's right. <laughs> Catching the giants. There's one. What is that? Little fish. Is it a rock bass? Let's see. Yes, it is. There's the rock bass. All right, that's the first rock bass of the day.
Oh, dude, there's a good one swimming right by me. Uh, he turned away. So there's going to be a bunch of fish in here, but these are the kind of places you, they might not be hitting. They're just going to be chilling. There's some good fish in here, though. Got to find those ones that are ready to eat. Oh! Dude, that guy smoked it. How did he not stay on? Oh, man, that was fast. Hit the water and boom. And it looked like a decent... Oh, there he is. I looked down and came back. Oh, it's a largemouth. I don't think that's the guy that hit it originally. Ouch. Uh, yep, a little large mouth. Something hit it, like nailed it. And uh, it may have been that guy, but I thought he looked bigger than that. A little large mouth. Ow! Don't text and walk in the water. It's dangerous for you. There we go. Little guy. Little, oh, there's a couple of them over there in that pocket. Hey, that's a pretty little one. Oh, there's another little small mouse. The move spots. And um, just kind of did a little, had to do a little waiting before I could get to find this one. All right, let's see if I can get that other one that was in there. Got him. <laughs> That's cool. There, I saw two of them, and I got two of them. These little guys dig. He's a little bit about, about the same size. These are good little little fun creek bass here. I haven't seen any more bigger ones. Well, actually, we saw some bigger ones downstream uh, at a big deep hole, but I couldn't get any of those to hit. Nice little small mouth. Well, I was gonna go up further, but there's a couple uh, teenagers, other fishing, and one of them's got a decent fish right now he caught. So there's some people that are, they're bass fishing up there. So we'll probably go back downstream, look for some more of those deep holes. I got him? Yeah, I got him. Something was taking off with it. Oh, little rock bass. Get a bunch of hits on this little bank over here, a bunch of little fish. I've seen a bunch of little bass come and peck at it. There's a pretty little rock bass. Oh, yeah. That feels better. Where's it at? Oh, it's just a bigger rock bass. Two rock bass right there. Nice. Oh, yeah, little rock bass. Yeah, I saw several uh, big smallmouth hanging out under this tree, but they uh, they all swam out when I was coming up. I'm about to go get something to eat. I say we'll go go downstream. We'll do one more spot, okay. and I'm gonna let you use one of my rods because I want to want you to try it. Okay. I think I got one that you'll like. You're hiding them from me. I can't catch them because you're guarding them, right? Here you go, sir. I caught some over there on the other side. There's a lot of them swimming around. Where are they? They're all over. There's a bunch on that bank over there. Hanging out on those trees. 
It's a really good place to see a bunch of them. Do you got your phone in your pocket? Yep, yeah, it's in a waterproof case. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> you know, those cases can... Well, we just had some lunch and it was good. It's been, it's hot out here. It's getting hot, so I needed to kind of refuel. We got one more spot we're going to get in here and it looks a little bit deeper down here. And I'm going to give uh, Julio one of my rod and reel setups and uh, get him on a medium light. And I think he'll, I think he'll try it out and I think he'll like it. And I want to see how he, how he feels, see if we can catch a few more fish with it. Oh, oh my. Dude. Yeah, he's, oh, he's looking at it. That's a big one. Oh, he came up and looked at it and he turned away. Holy cow. That's a good fish. Uh, came out of that shade. He followed it, looked at it, just kept on looking at it. Oh, man. Oh, oh wait. Come on. Man, that was a good fish. I thought he was gonna bite it. I was like, he's gonna eat it, he's gonna eat it. You just never know how many of them are in a spot like that. Like, sometimes they're just gonna hammer it. Sometimes they're being really picky. Here's one. Oh, nice. Bigger than I thought. Yeah. I thought there was a little one on there. Oh, he's, he's all right, though. He's up under the bridge, eh? That's small mouth. Yeah, that's a good one for here. I caught one earlier that was a little bit bigger than this. That's the all the other ones have been real small. Yeah, I'll take these guys all day. Nice. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. There he goes. That's a good one, man. Yeah, that's awesome. There, that's good. That made my day. Just top it off with that little fish. You fish up here a lot? Am I to ask you a couple questions? Uh, like what's your lure that like, do you have a, what like Ned Rig or? Yeah, yeah. a lot of Ned Rig. Yeah. Today we've caught one that was about two and one that oh, was nice. about three. Oh really, nice. Yeah. That's a good fish. I saw, uh, I don't know if it was you or the other guy, I caught a good one up there, or it looked like a pretty good one. Yeah. Dude, a three pounder out here, that's a good fish, yeah. Yeah, the biggest one I've ever caught out here that I've weighed was four even. Wow, oh, that's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for out of a river or creek area, yeah, that's a giant. Dang, so many people out here fishing. If we weren't as many people, we probably would have. Yeah. We probably caught more. But they've been they've been fishing all day hard, and yeah, it's like they probably started earlier, yeah. And he knows all the good spots. All right, let me clarify this again. People always ask me, what about snakes when you're out waiting? Well, this is what about them. They're all over the place. But do I let them bother me? No. They're usually just waiting to, uh, sitting out in the sun, looking to eat a fish or something. And they're gonna run off as soon as I walk up there. So I just go about my business. All right, we are done and I'm a little tired, wore out. Thanks so much for Julio going with me today on my, on these adventures. Oh, we had fun, you know. <laughs> he, I knew he was gonna be up for whatever, uh, you know, what, whatever I wanted to do. So we kind of went out of the way. We thought we were gonna be fishing this area. I, I thought it was gonna be an area where there's like, not gonna be a lot of people fishing. There's people, people fishing everywhere. And I, you know, thanks for the guys that helped me out. I talked to a couple guys, they were kind of giving me some tips and there really is some good smallmouth in that lower part of the Teleco River. Thought it was gonna be more uh, desolate, but there's people that do fish it. So it's kind of fun to do that. It's fun to get in that nice cool water. He even took a little plunge into it to stay cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're gonna get out of here now. So go check out his channel, Everyday Angler. He just goes out and fishes and he's, he's really getting into it and learning and trying different things. And he ain't afraid to make mistakes while he's trying.